So my problem is... Oh, we have a problem. There's a problem? Well, problem. Well... <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. They are wrapping it up. All the drama surrounding the disastrous 8th season of The Real Housewives of Potomac. Yep, they want to dead it as soon as possible. They want the whole colorist narrative to be over now that they've introduced two new girls of a darker complexion than IHOP's usual entry form. Oops. Just kidding. <laughs> but also, not really because the show has just survived a whole lot of backlash about the way they handle topics and the very material reality of colorism. Obviously, they came under fire for a terrible 8th season with the mortifying 3-part reunion. True Entertainment LLC and the Bravo Network are looking at taking a new direction by introducing a fresh energy. And to do that, they've made a couple of introductions to fill the void that will be left behind by Candace. Having also recently fired Robin Dixon, who's been with the show since the very beginning, and also firing Necker, and the new girl is being brought on board to fit the bill. We've just gotten reports that a new friend of the show is being brought to the scene. They've decided to go without Jacqueline. She also came in on season 7 of the show as Mia's friend before their friendship and sister-like bond fell through the cracks as soon as they started flipping on each other and made some pretty bizarre claims about each other on the show. By the time the ladies took a group trip to Mexico, Mia and Jacqueline were on the outs. Mia recently revealed that the two of them aren't currently on speaking terms even now and I wonder if that had anything to do with her being on the outs with the show. Fast forward, we have Jessie. And she's more than just a beauty because Jessie has a background in pageants just like Candice and Kenya Moore. The entrepreneur is also just well-rounded, having dabbled in various things like ballet, tap dancing, basketball and other things. Will she have the right amount of chemistry with this group of women without having to suck up to the OGs? No, as a matter of fact, the first time I met her, when the scene was over and we were going home, she came up to me and she was like, Giselle, thank you so much for being nice to me. Oh. And I was like, what did you expect? Yeah. But she expected for me to be like, oh. <laughs> I think Kiana was able to do that very well in her first season. She came in as Wendy's friend in the middle of the biggest divide in the group but was still able to navigate all the factions without losing herself. While Kiana came in the group more closely associated with Wendy and Candace, she didn't let the friendship hold her back or prohibit her from forming relationships with other women. Karen really liked Kiana and made sure she was okay after Deborah attacked her in the finale. And that's a big deal to be in Karen's good books here because, as we know now, the Grand Dame initially wanted Wendy fired. Karen from day one was trying to get you kicked off this show. Oh, I know that. Karen so Karen, Giselle, that's a in lie. Newburgh, you pulled me to the side and you said to me, Giselle, I don't like Wendy. Wendy does not fit this show. Mm. Yeah, this you're giving is Giselle problem. enough airtime with this lie. So. And I think that's part of the reason Kiana's returning to the show as a full-time housewife. RHOP season 8 introduced Wendy's friend Kiana as a friend to the group. TV Deeds reported that despite initial T, she was axed from the cast, Kiana will be joining RHOP season 9 as a full-time housewife. Now, as we briefly remember, Kiana was briefly featured throughout RHOP's 8th season and her biggest moment that season was in the finale episode. Yeah, she just didn't get enough camera time. Ashley's friend Deborah got physical with Kiana during a party for Giselle and Ashley's fashion line. She was left with a bloody forehead and had to be rushed to the hospital. And for a time, it looked like the show might drop her for engaging in such extracurricular activities. But after the tapes were rolled back, we all got to understand that Debs was at fault through and through. Yeah, so Deborah was a thousand percent at fault. Okay. She came over looking for trouble, threw a drink, and then all hell broke loose. Right, right. So, yeah. My theory is that production already knew what happened during that night, but they still wanted to craft their own narrative as part of the same old tricks that nearly sunk the show. And by tricks, I mean the wild protections enjoyed by Jeezy and Ashley thus far on this show, which led the season to hell. And to petitions for the firing of Giselle, boycotts against the show for season 9, and the turn of backlash that was made worse by Candace leaving the show, only to announce a pregnancy through an Entertainment Tonight exclusive, where she talked about needing to have the baby in a safer environment. I wanted the space around us and around our, our child to feel peaceful and to feel free and to feel um, positive and, and to be able to just experience it on our own. Yes, without, you know, 
any added pressure, good, bad, or indifferent um, from, from the show. And, you know, I just, I, I was not confident that I could have that in the space that the show is in currently. Um, so it was kind of, it was kind of a no brainer. Like, see, that's a PR disaster. Aside from the fight, Kiana attended the cast group trip to the Dominican Republic. It was clear that she had formed bonds with the rest of the women, including Giselle, Karen, and Candace. Giselle checked in on her throughout the trip, which she appreciated and thanked her for at the reunion. And I'm actually excited for Kiana because I think she would bring a fresh new energy to RHOP. She's already been featured on the season of the show, but landing a full-time spot would allow the audience to learn even more about who she is. She doesn't let her previous friendships hold her back from making new friends, which is a great quality to have as a housewife and especially on The Real House of Potomac. Karen seemingly confirmed Kiana whilst joining RHOP season 9 after she reposted the TV Deeds Instagram post to her Instagram story. And we are already being treated to tiny glimpses of the upcoming season as taping has already begun. Stacey Rush is definitely having fun taking us along. Now, TV Deeds has also reported that Stacey has joined the show as a full-time flute holder for the show's ninth season. And she's not new to this. Stacey is a host and reporter known for her work on QVC, Fox 5 and Good Day DC. The network is working overtime to cast new women to bring a new vibe on RHOP after a terrible 8th season. Will the changes help the show unsync itself as Candy Girl has said? This remains to be seen, especially since this will be the very first season without Robin since the show came around. How will Jeezy maneuver the switch in the show's dynamic? And will these changes help or hurt the show? Comment down below, like and share this video to help others to see it, and subscribe to the channel. The Real House House of Potomac is moving on from its darkest season as I've started filming with the revamped cast. We now have Karen, Giselle, Ashley, Wendy, Kiana and Stacy as confirmed full-time housewives. Add to that, Jesse is coming in as friends of the show. And we have cameras rolling as a new era begins to shape up. They can't fumble this one, seeing as the show is on notice for many viewers who found it unwatchable last season. And with the delays on RHOA as production is scrambling with putting together a formidable cast, it is important for the black shows like RHOP and Married to Madison to start taping right away. And that's what they're doing. See? Season 8 was marked by irreconcilable divisions, but now that Candace, Robin and Neca won't be in the new season, there's no excuse for the show but to mark a way forward. Will you be watching? Comment down below, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, bye!